Okay, that's it for morning exercises. Now I can paint the floor. Oh man, I think I better cool off first. I'm gonna be dripping everywhere. I opened a coconut, made some coconut cereal, made some coconut bread dough, ate the cereal, jumped in the ocean to cool off, had a shower. Now I think I'm ready to paint. I need to make sure these stairs are cleaned off so I don't track all these wood bits up here. One thing I just realized I need is a stick for my roller. So I can stand up and reach. I don't know if this stick will work. That should do. Now what is the fume situation here? Do I need to wear a mask for this? Ideal for garage floors, driveways, walkways, basements, so I can definitely use the stuff inside. Pool decks, tennis courts. Ooh, tennis courts? Anyway, I'm not seeing anything on here about fumes. Oh, wait. Part of Chile, which is, I guess this is a warning just for the country of Chile. Uh, basically, yeah, you don't want to inhale the stuff over, over a long period of time because it can cause damage. All right. All right. I opened a whole bunch of windows, put a fan on downstairs, blowing air into the house. And uh, I have my mask up there if I feel like I need it. Okay, first, well, I've got three gallons of this stuff. Supposedly, that should be enough to do everything. So I'm going to crack the first gallon, dump a bunch in here, and just paint the banked part all the way around. That should be super easy because there's no edging. Not smelling any overwhelming fumes, just cracking the thing open. It's a good sign. We barely smell anything. Kind of smells a little bit like latex paint, actually. That'd be funny if it was just latex paint. <laughs> All right, let's slap a label on there. Call it epoxy. People will pay extra. Yeah. All right, there's half a gallon. I'm getting everywhere. Nice thing about painting a floor, don't really have to worry about getting it on the floor. So why did I pick green of all things? First, I know a bunch of people are going to be upset that I didn't leave, uh, I'm not just clear coating it, but I feel like clear coating is going to be beautiful on the first day, but after a year, of kids beating up the floor and me beating up the floor and you know roller skates driving around on it and stuff it's gonna look not so great if I clean coat it but I think this will last better and I wanted to I wanted to paint the track part like a standard kind of running track color which would be like reddish brown what usually most of the tracks I ran on were that but they didn't have a good reddish brown at the store so I went with green this would be the the color of Dartmouth College's running track if I remember correctly I should I ran on it a lot, a lot of times it's not banked though um, not sure how thick I should be putting this on I kind of want to put it on Yeah. Do you 
Jeez, maybe I should have put the fluffier roller on here. I do have a fluffier one. Ah, whatever, this is fine. Let's go with it. After this, I'm going to put white lines, you know, just like on a standard running track. Whoa, that's green. Oh, good looking stuff. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be cool with the lines on it. I wanna put another coat down here. I got two coats on the, the banked part, but only one coat down here. And I'm almost out of paint. Like I have enough to do under those tables later. Maybe I'll get another gallon or two. Of course, I could always get another color. So I just need to let that dry now and tomorrow I can paint some white lines on it. Oh, you know what? It's time to cook some bread. Or pizzas, whatever. Who wants to push the button on the camera? Wait, the dog? Yeah. Wait, no, don't use that. No, no, no. You grab a megalodon. All right, I've got white latex paint here. Just an old latex paint. And I'm gonna try paintbrush, see how this goes. This is gonna take a while. I got all the way around here, then one line here, then one line, where's that pencil? Pencil line right there. Okay, let's. Okay, well, you know what? Can you
she sat in it, didn't she? Stay out of the paint, you little bugger. Well, the evidence says you did. Yep, but you were wearing the black shirt. You were wearing the black shirt. There's some marks in the white paint that look exactly like your marks. And you were wearing that shirt. <laughs> anyway, just don't don't get it anymore. Uh, you tell the bells to do about it. All right. Um, all right. What what happened next? Oh yeah. So they heard everything. So now they they know that Wolf Girl is a demon, and you know. And at first, Wolf Girl and the guy are all concerned that they're gonna have to be, they're gonna have to leave now because they're gonna get turned in because she's a demon. But the girls are like, well, we've been living with you for the last two months and you seem like a all right person, so I don't see what the problem is. So everyone's happy that no one's getting turned into the you know, getting sent to the dungeon for being a demon. Okay, got the stairs marked out. Starting to finish line. Yeah, I think that is. I think that's pretty good. Probably want to do another coat on all that white at some point, but yeah, looks pretty good right now. Oh, got a casualty. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, hey, adventurers. Yeah. Could you come a little closer? I've got a special mission for you. Don't touch the paint. We won't. We won't. No are you are you making promises you can't keep? We won't touch the paint. No. All right. Uh -huh. yeah, we've already got like uh, toes here, toes there, because feet, feet. 